Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net and today we're going to peer-to-peer -peer your QuickBooks 2008 using Windows 2003 server and a client computer. So on the server, install it, select No for the uh, updates. Next, then it's installing. In the uh, installation wizard, Click next. I accept terms and a license agreement. Select it. And next. More than one user. Remember, this is my server. I'm going to have several users accessing my uh, folders. Next. Fully installed as recommended. The reason why we're going to fully install is because I would like to manage my uh, QuickBooks from the server also. Yes, allow access to uh, uh, any other users. Next, and license. My default locations is C Program Intuit QuickBooks 2008. I can change it if I like to any other uh, folder or wherever you like to uh, specify your uh, your installation. In this case, I'm going to use default and click next and no I don't want Google in my server next the installation account the addition and the uh, location path installing and finish the wizard see it's already installed in my server now we're going to uh, create your company file if you don't have one already created here I'm going to install it in my QuickBook, QuickBooks avoid errors folder that I created in uh, in my backup drive Remember, it's an easy way to access from a client computer because you're going to map that folder to your clients. By default, it's a long path that is difficult to access it, so you might want to change it. Just go to double click uh, my computer, select the drive that you want, and select the folder where you're going to uh, place the uh, QuickBooks files. And here I'm going to put it in my QuickBooks Avoid Errors folder. Save. Installing my uh, QuickBooks files. And now we're going to make sure that those files were saved as specified. Double click my computer. Double click my backup. And uh, double click QuickBook avoid errors files folder and there we go we have it keep this in mind for the uh, client computer this is where you're gonna access so I select the folder and properties share I need it, it, ha it has to be shared for clients to connect permission allow full access if you want them to allow full access I'd rather have them just change and read don't want them you know to have full access very dangerous click apply okay apply and it's being shared make sure that the folder is being shared because you're gonna have to access it from your client computers now we're gonna make an account create an account so we can test it on the client's computer once is already configured so we're gonna use the uh, avoid errors uh, customer
okay and there we go avoid errors we have a customer now we're going to configure the uh, client's computer this is the installation of the uh, QuickBooks on a client computers remember no we don't want it to uh, update once the installation finish click next for the wizard accept the agreement this is the client's computer one user remember you already sharing your files in the uh, server and here same process you can change the folder where you want the QuickBooks to be installed I select default shortcut on my desktop yes and no I don't want Google installation we don't need to share anything on the client's computer because we already uh, we already sharing from the server computer which can be also a user computer this is a peer-to-peer -peer. click next on the wizard and it's installed now we're going to restart and look for the uh, a company files next and we're gonna look for the uh, QuickBooks uh, QBW on the server see it's a little easier when you you know when you organize it properly QuickBooks avoid errors files if I was to leave it as default it would be extremely difficult for me to find that folder QBA file I'm sorry and then double click and select customer there we go we have the customer so you now you can make any changes and the uh, other computers will have the same uh, changes thank you for watching